It's Sunny and Finn's Wrestling and Video Game Podcast. What's up guys, welcome to episode 20 of the Sunny and Finn Show. I'm Sunny, and with me, as always, is Finn Steve. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. It only took me uh, two times this time. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Can you get it? Can you get it? Yeah. Second take and I know. <coughs> well up? I feel pretty happy about it. Yeah, yeah, should be. Yeah. Happy <laughs> yourself. Uh, we've hit another milestone, this is number 20. We have, a big 2 We're knocking these episodes out. We are, yeah. We're yeah. absolutely, we're killing it. Yeah. We just need more people to hear it. Yes, no, we definitely do. Definitely do. Yeah, for sure. We'll get there. But if you listen to it already, thank you very much. Yes. We very we appreciate your support. Absolutely. And we're going to crack on until we eventually break records for podcasts all over the world. Yes, the number one podcast worldwide. Forever. Forever. And ever. <laughs> Same thing, 100 years. Yep. Sameything.com. That's it. We're just going to be like the most popular people on the the whole internet. Yes. We're coming for you, PewDiePie. Yeah. Markiplier. And all these other people that are internet famous. <laughs> yeah. We're coming for you. We are. So watch your internet backs. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear. Um, what have you been playing this week? Um, what have I been playing? I finally platinumed Trials of Blood Dragon. Um, Ooh, yeah! Yeah, finally. God, the game's hard. Um, yeah, it's hard. Yeah. I, I also beat, or at least finished my first playthrough of Dark Souls 3. Oh, right. You've been busy this week. I have, yeah. Um, that was a lot of fun. Really cool, uh, cool times in Dark Souls. Um, also, How was it? Did you enjoy it? Oh, yeah. It's really good. I love it. Yeah? Uh, definitely. Is it the best one? Um, hmm, hard to say. Uh, okay. I think it's the best one out of Dark Souls. The Dark Souls games, I don't know if it's better than Bloodborne, though. Bloodborne is so awesome. It is so good. It's a very special game. Um, other than that, um, a game I know you love, uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions on Wii U. Yeah, I love it. I, I, to be honest, <laughs> I was going to mention that myself. Oh, yeah, of course, you know, yeah. I've obviously been playing it. Of course. Um, yeah, how you... <laughs> what did you say it was called? Uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Yes. Sessions. Hash, hash or sharp F-E. Okay. So what's this about? What's, what's this, what is this game? So it was announced originally as a, I think it was like a Wii U line, launch lineup t- uh, title originally. Right. It was uh, announced as um, Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem. Well, of course it was. Of yeah. course, yeah. I mean, Obviously, that's <laughs> that's what I know it as. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's why that, I didn't know what you meant when you said that first title. I was like, what the hell is this? It's clearly that other name with <laughs> words. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, it's like, like a crossover between two popular Japanese RPG uh, franchises. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I mean, getting really good reviews. Okay. Um, I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, and yeah, it's really good. If you, like, if you enjoy JRPGs, you enjoy Fire Emblem or Shin Megami Tensei or Persona games. Um, well, yeah, cool. well, yeah, that, that's my <laughs> that's my jam. Yeah, absolutely. Then you'll you'll probably <laughs> love this one. Okay. <laughs> and uh, other than that, that's about it. I think. So wait, this game was supposed to be a Wii U launch title. It's only just come out. Yeah, well, they said Wii U like launch lineup title, but kept been delayed or for whatever reasons and. Yeah. But this is a delayed game that's been worth waiting for. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think so. Okay, so go play that game with Japanese words in the title. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Yes. Formerly known as Japanese words Fire Emblem. <laughs> yes, close enough. Yeah, there we go. Shin Megami Tensei. Tensei. Right? Yeah. Okay. How about you? What have you been playing? Um, well, I finished Batman Arkham Knight. Okay, yeah. Uh, I can't be asked doing the Riddler trophies and stuff because... Don't leave it. I mean, I could plan on this game, but I, that's another 40 hours, I think, on yeah. top of sort of what I've already played, which is a lot. Yeah, the the, trophy, the Riddler trophies in the Arkham City were a major pain. <laughs> yeah, think, I'm, just, I'm not willing to dedicate that time no, to, to going around picking up Riddler trophies. I just can't be bothered. No. Um, so I finished that a couple of days back. Um, I have since started The Last of Us Remastered. Nice. Uh, thanks to the poll on our Twitter page. Oh, yeah. So people voted for me to play that. So I'm going to do that. Excellent. Um, I was just, to be honest, I've just been sort of dabbling with different things. I tried Hawken oh, yeah. on Xbox One. How is it? It's fine. Um, it, it looked really cool. Mm-hmm. I know this game's been around for a while on PC and stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, so I tried it out when it uh, launched on Xbox One earlier on this week. And as far as mech shooters go, it's... Okay, it's no Titanfall. Oh, yeah. I mean, Titanfall is a very polished experience. That's true. Uh, Hawking is fine. It's a little bit rough around the edges. Um, uh, I got a few kills in the couple of matches that I had, and it was fine, but it just seems a bit boring. Yeah. I don't think I'll go back to it. There is trophies for it. It's a free-to-play game, but there is... Well, I say trophies, achievements. Yeah. Um, well, it's coming out on PS4 as well, so there is okay. trophies for it, but um, it's fine. Um, 
it, it is just fine. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. But that's pretty much it, to be honest. I mean, I've dedicated so much time to Arkham Knight that I haven't really been playing anything else. Yeah, fair enough. But um, I'm going to plow through The Last of Us. I'm sticking true to my word, and I am going to mow through this backlog that I have. Cool. Um, so God of War 3 will get done at some point. Yeah. Um, and I've got Halo 5 that I still haven't completed. Oh, yeah. And there's Excellent. some other stuff I want to play before Forza comes out and FIFA comes out and stuff like that. Yeah. So. It's, like, it's like kind of a dry month for games. It is. So. I mean, it's a good time to... Um, you know, sort of try and work through the backlog. Yeah, I think I'll be doing the same this month as well. I want to yeah. get back to um, The Witcher 3 and Fallout 3, or Fallout 4, rather, the DLC, and just play yeah, through sure. the DLC and all that. Did you, have you finished The Witcher 3? Yeah, I have, that and it, in fact. Really? Yeah, yeah. Jesus, man, you are a workhorse. <laughs> I know, that was, that was a long one, but uh, it was worth it, it was a lot of fun. So you can do the, the very extensive DLC that they currently have out for it? I think so, yeah. It's been getting okay. really good reviews, and I'm excited to play it again, so. Um, you know, that is one game that I have played, mm-hmm. and I like what I've played of it, um, but it's one game that's been so well-maintained. Yeah. Like, it's CD Projekt Red, isn't it, that, uh, that put that game out? And they've done it the right way. I mean, they brought out a load of free DLC, mm-hmm. but the paid DLC that they brought out for it is just... It's like a full game. It's like a new game. Yeah, pretty much. It's, like- it's not a shitty two-hour extension that you're going to... sort of Expansion, rather, that you're going to play... And forget about yeah they're like actual proper expansion packs we used to call them back in the day on BC yeah uh, that's like the old the old timey old timey no <laughs> the old school style uh, ye oldie uh, ye oldie PC ye oldie games. gaming <laughs> yeah but uh, yeah it's like back in the vein of uh, like old BC games where you get like a, uh, an expansion pack for like Command and Conquer Red Alert or something yeah sure like huge events you used to come on <laughs> disc yeah exactly yeah <laughs> uh, and they're always like a big massive experience yeah uh, and it's like it's like that, yeah. And a lot, a lot of respect for CD Projekt Red for, for since like the Witcher One. So yeah. I think that, that that's, they've done it the right way. Definitely, yeah. Because there was a season pass, wasn't there? But the it content was. has been so big that it, it's worth it. Definitely, yeah. A lot of games, season pass stuff, just isn't worth it. <laughs> yeah. Um, like Lego. Oh, game to yeah, exactly. What's the point of the Lego <laughs> season pass? It's like ten pounds, and you get like twenty minute DLC levels. It's, yeah. It seems like a waste of time to me, but yeah, I don't strange. know. Um, I tell you what I did. I um, I put the division on for the first time in like I don't know maybe a couple of months. Oh yeah, and it's changed loads. Has it? Well, yeah. Like the, in the latest update, um, there's the there's like a, you know in Destiny where you have a light level. Oh yeah. Well, they've sort of added something like that now. Yeah. Where the gear that you pick up after the end, like during the end game. So when you're level thirty and you know you're still walking around New York shooting people. Um, the gear that you pick up is has a score. Right. Okay. Um, you the DLC that's been coming out, which are like um, the raids in Destiny. Oh, yeah. You can't play them unless your gear is a certain score. I see. So they've made it a bit more interesting, and I, I like it. I'm still not fully invested back in it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna wait because you know I've still got a few weeks until Underground comes out for PlayStation Four. So oh, yeah. um, I'm gonna jump back into it fully then. But I enjoyed the couple of hours that I sort of dabbled with it. Cool. Uh, replayed one of the story missions uh, because it was a daily challenge or something. Oh, yeah. And I actually really enjoyed it. So um, I did say I had no interest in sort of going back and playing the old missions. But now that there's a purpose to do so, um, I'm I'm quite happy to actually go back and do it. So yeah. I'm going back on my word and not, you know, I am going to go and replay these story missions and stuff. But Fair only if they're daily challenges because the rewards you get are pretty substantial. So... Um, and I've been playing on hard and I play by myself on the mm. end division because uh, there are people that are playing it but I'm not a big social gamer I'm not sort of you know parties of eight and playing games yeah, together yeah, and that I'm sort of stuff yeah. um, but I played the mission that I played was the Lincoln Tunnel Underground mission and I played it on my own on hard and it was fine because yeah. I'm leveled up and my gear is fairly good cool. so yeah um, good stuff yeah there isn't much gaming news this week it's not. There's a few very small little bits. I know you've got some Overwatch stuff. Do you want to start with that? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so Overwatch Competitive released uh, last week. Um, and to be honest, if you're playing mostly by yourself like I am, it's kind of broken and stupid. Uh, for one main reason, uh, people who are allowed to call arseholes <laughs> like to leave... That's the technical term for it. Exactly, yes. Arseholes. Yeah. arseholes uh, <laughs> like to, if they, for example, lose the first round... They'll just leave, and if they leave, when your team, if if like, like someone leaves on the other team, the enemy team, 
uh, when you win, you get like a tiny amount of XP uh, or rank, whatever you call it. Um, so it's like barely worth continuing, but you have to, otherwise you get punished if you leave. Um, but if someone in your team leaves and you stay and finish the game, you lose a whopping like an entire level basically. And right. It's, okay. So, despite the fact that I've won more games than I've lost, uh, because everyone keeps leaving mid game on the enemy team, I've lost like two levels because some dickheads just decided it's not worth their time and they want to punish us by leaving the game. I read that Blizzard are trying to cra- clamp down on this. Yeah, I bet that too. And they're they're, they're going to punish cheaters. Yeah, I think um, I think they I think at the minute if they keep doing it, they will get like banned from the current season. Uh, but it needs to be more severe because like. Nine out of ten games I play, uh, when I'm on the winning side, some someone leaves. It's like mm. it completely ruins the experience and it just makes you not want to play it anymore. Yeah, and I think that's sort of the problem with online multiplayer shooters. Mm. Um, you know, it's the same with anything. Like um, I play FIFA, and you know, if you're winning a game of Ultimate Team, you know, or if you know if you go two 0 up in the first ten minutes, someone's going to quit, and you're like, what's the point in this? Because yeah. I know I've got to win, but I don't feel like I've earned it because. Um, you know, you've quit ten minutes in. Yeah. Like I've played games where I've been two 0 down. It's, it doesn't enter my mind to quit. No. It makes me want to try and win. Exactly. And nine times out of ten, I do come back and win because I'm. I think I'm fairly good at FIFA. But, um, but people don't have that mentality. They think, oh, right, I've lost. I'm just going to try again. Yeah, I'm exactly. Quit and I'm going to try from scratch. Exactly. Like I was in a game last night. We lost the first two rounds, like by a lot. They think to us, but we we like twist our cows around. We change tactics. And then we won the next three rounds and won the entire game. Exactly. Yeah. Just because you lose the first round doesn't mean you've lost. Exactly, completely. yeah. It's it, harder. <laughs> it's, it just defeats the point yeah, exactly. of, of playing. Don't, if, you, if you're going to be like that, just play non-competitive. Because yeah, you're, wasting, exactly. you're wasting your own and everyone else's time. Exactly. I feel like that about FIFA. I feel like that about most online things that I play. Yeah. I feel like if they just switched it on Overwatch, so you, if someone on the enemy team leaves, you still get the full amount of XP if you win. Mm. Uh, but... If someone on your team leaves, then you just, when you lose, you get you lose a smaller amount because it's not not fair if you're like four people against five. Yes, no, I, I absolutely <laughs> agree with you, and I hope it's a bizarre decision by Blizzard. I hope Blizzard find a way to stop this from happening. Yeah, I do see. Um, I think they're going to need to because the complaints are going to be massive. And yeah. I'm sure they've been moaned at on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Since sort of um, competitive play launched, and rightly so. I mean. Not rightly so to moan at Blizzard because they maintain the game and are maintaining it oh, yeah. and will continue to do so, but um, they just need to change the way that the competitive play works. Definitely. Um, but yeah, people don't play it. Exactly. Um, but yeah, there wasn't a video before I came here actually of someone saying the same thing I just said of like, it's broken, it needs fixing. So I'm not the only one who feels like this. And, they uh, will listen, I'm certain of it. I think so. Um, it. While we're on the subject of Overwatch, I know we talked about this a little bit before we sort of uh, started recording, but... Um, I know the game is very well polished. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a superb looking game. Oh yeah. Um, but and it, and it plays really well. Oh, and yeah, it is really a fantastic is. game. It is. Do you think it could have been free to play with added, like with microtransactions? Um, I think so. Um, it's hard to say really because at the minute you can like right now there is like might be no actions there. You can like buy loot boxes or whatever yeah. or cosmetic items, which I wouldn't do because no. I know I can earn them in the game. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But I think um, looking looking at the game when I play the game, it doesn't feel like a fifty pound game to me. Yeah, I can see why. There's like no story mode. There's only like a few handful of like competitive modes. Um, so yeah, I can see where you're coming from. But it is it's hard to say really. But it, it's it's so well made and well polished that I mean, I when don't I can, mind paying that much for it. When I compare it to the likes of Hawken, which is free to play, hmm. you know, I can see why you would pay for Overwatch because yeah, Overwatch yeah. is a far superior online multiplayer game. But when I when I sort of look at... Um, and there is paid elements to it, but when I look at sort of games like um, DC Universe Online, for example, mm. like you can play that whole game. And I, and I have. I mean, I've ploughed... I don't know. Probably hundreds of hours into that game playing the whole thing. Nice. With, uh, with a friend of mine. And, you know, I didn't pay any money for it. Mm. And it was it was just a superb experience. Oh, yeah. Um you know, I, I if you want to buy the DLC packs, you can, and I have since. Cool. But uh, I, I still feel like I'm getting money's worth out of it. Oh yeah. But it, uh, even it, though it's sort of free, if you understand what I mean by that, and that sounds w- like a weird thing to say. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. Um, 
I mean, Team, Team Fortress 2, which is, you know, very similar to this game, is free to play on PC. Mm. And, uh, yeah, again, you just buy, like, cosmetic items, like hats and stuff like that. Yeah. Then get, like, different guns. I feel the same about Battleborn. Battleborn should have been free to play. And yeah, I probably. think Gearbox will eventually realise that. And, um, you know, because I think, well, I mean, I, I assume it's flopped. Oh, yeah, it seems like it. Which uh, is a shame because it's a very good game. Yeah, it's a good game. But it's just a shame that it came out the same time as Overwatch. Yeah, that's bad timing. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that went free to play. I think it might be better model for that. Uh, I think so. With um, Again, with cosmetic microtransactions, oh, perhaps. Yeah, for sure. Um, not microtransactions to sort of boost your performance, because I don't believe in no, that. I don't think you should stupid. pay to... Um, it's like when people buy coins on FIFA, like yeah, illegally. Yeah. like They go on to eBay, um, buy a million coins, and then they can just buy the buy the perfect team that they want. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe in that. That's dumb, yeah. I, I know people that do it, and I think it's stupid. Uh, I think it takes the fun out of it. You yeah. should earn your right to be good at the game. Exactly. It's like in uh, MMOs where you can just like, go and buy gold yeah. and just buy whatever you want. <laughs> or the best gear. Yeah, it's crap. Try. Yeah, it's crap. It just seems Obviously. to take the fun out of it. It does. Anything else you got? Um, I think that's about it for that stuff. I know you've got a bit of news. Or a little bit of news. i got a little bit of news. Cool. Nothing substantial, but you know, it's news nonetheless. Cool. Um, in fact, this is quite a big one. Okay. Red Dead Redemption is coming to Xbox One's backwards yeah. compatibility program. Sweet. Um, it's coming Friday this week, so um, it's come out of nowhere. I mean, yeah. it's been rumoured for a while, but it is actually coming. Excellent. Okay. Um, apparently, um, sales of the game have increased 6,000% <laughs> since the announcement. Oh, is that all? Which is very unsurprising. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, people wouldn't have been buying this game for a long, long time now. I mean, people may... Oh, you see it in second-hand shops, it's like £5. Exactly, yeah. I imagine now the price has gone up. Probably. <laughs> because, um, I mean, I'll get it at some point. Uh, I'm not bothered about it at the minute, but, you know, I'll just buy the digital download. Yeah, sure. I've still got my copy at home. So yeah, I'll just so you, that. you can play it on, on your Xbox One. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. If, if you got it on it, you got it on Xbox 360. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, it is very cool. Rockstar have done a fantastic job of bringing these games out on backwards compatibility mm. uh, across both... PS4 and Xbox One. Yeah, definitely. Because uh, obviously, you know, you've got Bully mm-hmm. and Manhunt, yep. GTA 3, Vice City and San Andreas on PlayStation 4 through PS2 backwards compatibility. Yep, it's very cool. And uh, Max Payne as well. Yep, it's on there. And Max most Payne, recently, please. The Warriors. Oh yeah, I saw that. Awesome. Which is an outstanding game. I don't know how to play that. I haven't played that one. I need to play horrifically underrated game. Yeah, I've seen the reviews like really good for it. I need to play that. It's so good. You know, I, I would, I, I am going to get it at some point cool. um, because I, I really want to play through it again and it has trophies, of course. Of course. Um, but this is one I wanted, actually. I was talking to somebody on Twitter about this only a couple of weeks ago, I think. Oh, yeah. Um, or maybe a month or so ago. I can't remember. But we were sort of, you know, talking about games we want backwards compatibility or backwards compatible. Um, you know, I sort of mentioned the Warriors and, you know, we sort of like, yeah, it'd be brilliant. Don't know if it'll ever happen, but yeah. Rockstar have done it. It has coincided with the announcement of a Warriors TV show. Oh, right, okay. Um, Interesting. But, you know, Rockstar have done a really fantastic game, a uh, really fantastic job of bringing these games Yeah. that people love to backwards compatibility, whether not everyone's going to want it, not everyone's yeah. going to want these games, but they're there for the people well. that do. <laughs> exactly, yeah. That's what um, people don't play. And I am going to play the Warriors again because yeah. it's awesome. And... I said I recommend it highly to uh, anyone else who hasn't played it. Cool. Well, I'll give it a go then. But um, I'll take it with Yeah, Red Dead Redemption. Um, I think that's pretty cool. A lot of people want it. Yeah. Will you play it again? Um, don't know. To be honest, I played it. Play it. I spent a lot of hours playing it. Did you? Um, uh, did thousand enjoy it. game score it? Uh, not quite. A few you know, multiplayer trophies or stuff uh, like that. I think yeah. Uh, yeah. Or achievements to say. Um. But yeah, I don't know if I'll play it again, but no? I'm glad it's there. I'm glad there were people to enjoy because I know there are a lot of people who wanted. Uh, I don't think I ever yeah. played the whole thing, to be honest. No? I think I got sidetracked um, with something else when, when it came out. So I, I will play it, um, and I'm quite excited to play it because it's it's obviously outstanding. Oh, it's great, yeah. Um, there'll be a sequel, Hope so, so. I'd like to play <laughs> it in, before that. Yeah, yeah. Go I don't on. know if you saw, but um, I don't know if you read it, rather. There was a rumour that... Red Dead Redemption 2 was supposed to close Sony's conference. Oh, right, okay. Um, and the trailer they were going to show, I don't know how true this is, so take it with a pinch of salt. <laughs> um, the trailer was um, somebody walking into a bar and basically, you know, like a saloon, I guess. Yeah. And killing a load of people. Right. As you do. Obviously, that same day. Oh, of course, yeah. The Orlando incident happened. Yeah. So it was sort of scratched at the last minute. 
Nice. This is only rumour, but it would make sense because a lot of stuff came out before E3, um, you know, with the map. Yeah, yeah. And all that sort of stuff. Um, being leaked, allegedly. So I, I don't doubt that it's real. Yeah, I'm sure it's just going to be. <laughs> it's going to be. Some people have been asking for us a long time. And uh, there's nothing else been announced since GTA V yeah. came out, so it would make sense. Yeah, and no sign of any GTA story DLC either that was rumoured, so... Yeah, that's true. I don't care about that now, anyway. No, but, um, Yeah, so I'm going to play Red Dead Redemption before 2. Cool. Well, in fact, it's even going to be called Red Dead Redemption 2, because obviously Red Dead Redemption is a sequel to Red Dead Revolver. It is. Which is a PlayStation 2 game. Mm-hmm. Which I would like to see on backwards compatibility, actually, and I'm sure we will. It's, it is Rockstar, isn't it? Red Dead Revolver. Pretty sure, yeah. It must be. Must be, yeah. Yeah, okay. That goes back. Um... <laughs> Resident Evil 7, the demo, oh, has yeah. broken demo downloading records. Cool. It's been downloaded 2 million times globally. Wow, that's which a lot. Is fairly impressive considering it was only available to PlayStation Plus users. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's still the case, is it? I think so. Yeah. So now, who is, who, who, <laughs> who isn't a PlayStation Plus subscriber <laughs> exactly, that yeah. has a PS4? Yeah. You need them now for multiplayer, don't you? So yeah. It makes sense. There must be people out there that aren't. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. People that play single player games, but. Yeah. You don't get any of your free shit every month. Yeah, that's true. Shit being the appropriate <laughs> word most months. Yeah. Though I hear that one that came out this month, is right? Uh, Fury? Yes, the one, Fury. Yeah, it looks quite cool. It's like a boss, it's like a, it's like a boss battle game, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a mix between a hack and slash and like a bullet hell shooter, but yeah. with bosses. That's cool. Yeah. Down, good, down it's, it's, had, it's had good reviews. It's like seven eights across the board. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it a try. Yeah, I'll give it a try. Um, I haven't downloaded it yet. I mean, it's there. Yeah, same here. Yeah, I've not downloaded any of the stuff from Xbox One either yet. Oh, yeah. But it's Banner Saga 2, I'm not asked about it. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Um, Xbox Avatars. Remember oh, yeah. them? This is a thing. Well, apparently so. Oh, okay. Mine's still there wearing an Austin 316 t shirt <laughs> with a uh, WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Austin. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're getting wheelchairs. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. That's yeah. news. <laughs> that's news, yeah. It's, okay. it's, it's, it's news. Great. Um, I guess the um, people who are in wheelchairs who play games have wanted this for a while. Right, okay. Um, Congratulations, you now have it. Yeah, is even the avatars even on Xbox One? Yeah. They are? Oh, okay. Yeah, you can edit your avatar. Huh. Okay, what, are, cool. what are you using? <laughs> What's your gamer picture on Xbox One? Um, I have you edited it so it's proper? I think it's just like an avatar picture from like years ago. Okay. From 360, I think. I don't remember. Right, okay. It's been so long since I've done my Xbox One. I purchased... Uh, well, well worth the money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly, yeah. Well, they want to break. It's like, oh, but by where we play in Forza Horizon 2, I'll play those. Yeah, but this is still sit myself. Um, <laughs> when Forza Horizon 3 comes out, you're going to have no choice but to play with me. So Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll play that for sure. It looks excellent. Oh, uh, that's a nice text message that's just come through. Thank you. On my iPhone and Mac. So I apologise <laughs> for the little ping there. Can you edit that out? Uh, depends. If we're talking over it, then no. But... Ah, fuck it. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> who cares? It's just a little ping. Pretty much. Yeah. It's not going to ruin the podcast. Nah, it'll be fine. Nah. Ping. Ping. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Xbox uh, Avatar's getting wheelchairs. Great. Um, I'm not in a wheelchair, so probably won't use that feature. What about you? Uh, yeah, me either. I think it's how I have full control of my legs, so... <laughs> Apparently, um, like the people were going to start a petition for this. Really? Yeah. Huh. So, so if I would break it. my leg and I have to use crutches, I'm going to write to Xbox and be like, look, I hate crutches. put crutches on my <laughs> avatar, otherwise I'm going to start... A very angry sounding <laughs> petition. Yeah. But hey, cool. Look. Yeah, I mean, yeah, why not? If Probably. that's what people want and people have got it, that's fine. Yeah, great. Um, Pokemon Go, oh, which yeah? is the iOS and Android app, is mm-hmm. apparently rolling out at the yeah. minute. Cool. Um, it's apparently hit Australia and New Zealand. Right, okay. Uh, it hasn't hit uh, here yet. I did check. Okay. And uh, it's not out in the US yet, but it's rolling out. It's, you know, it was due out this month. And if you don't know what Pokemon Go is, it's like um, an augmented reality Pokemon catching app. Yeah, pretty much. So you can basically like use your mobile phone's camera to search for Pokemon in the real world. Yeah, it's a cool idea. I look forward to uh, finding Squirtle behind my <laughs> computer desk at work. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, I'll give it a try. Um, yeah, I'll try it. I mean, it'll, it'll probably last as long as Tomo did on my phone. Yeah, probably. Maybe I'll look down, I'm going to go out my way to try and find Pokemon, but I'll go to go around my house or whatever. What, so you're not, when, when you're walking around town on your way to CEX or game, you're not going to be like, oh, best check to see if there's a Pikachu uh, walking around the market. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should. Maybe I should go 
top of town, so I think just have a look. <laughs> you never know what's going to be there. You never know. No. You, that's not it's, what, it's a that's cool not, idea. That attitude is not how you win your Pokemon badges, Finn. <laughs> that's true, yeah. I'm never going to be a Pokemon Master. No, not with that attitude, you know. No. You go searching for those Pokemon. <laughs> I will. I'm going to be the very best. <laughs> I've not ever was. I'll catch them like a real test. Something, yeah. something. Yeah. Something. Oh, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think so anyway um, and uh, last but not least in gaming news okay the Bioshock collection has been announced uh, yeah, in fact that. it's called Bioshock the collection great solid so, title <laughs> real solid very um, to the point title yeah yeah definitely um, but yeah it's good I've done Bioshock I love all of them um, yeah. so I'll probably pick this up and play them again I'll yeah play. I'm going to get it when, it when it comes down to price this is a full release this is like a full I mean you are getting bang for your buck Oh, for sure, yeah. If, def- if, you've, if you've never played it before, then yeah, definitely. What do you think the campaign's last? 10, 12 hours? Uh, oh, yeah. I think so. A bit more than that, actually. You can go, like, try and get all the final secrets and stuff like that. Yeah, so, cool. I mean, you're getting a shitload of game for your full pro- for your full £50. It's a $60 game. That's what it's been announced as. Okay. So, that's gonna, it is going to be £40, £50. Pounds. Okay. That's and it's, it's worth every penny, in my opinion. For sure. Uh, I'm um, looking forward to going back to Rapture and uh, Columbia. That's what it's called, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Internet. The same place, yeah. And two is heavily underrated. Yeah, I so agree. I'm looking forward to revisiting two as well. Yeah, me too. The DLC in two is really good. Yeah, check it out, yo. Yo, check <laughs> it out. Um, check it out. Let's talk about. Let's go through the July gaming releases as we do. Uh, first podcast of every month. Yep, we do. Uh, we talk about what's coming out for the forthcoming month. Mm-hmm. And uh, there isn't a lot this month, but we'll go through it anyway. Yeah, uh, I usually do it, but I think Finn's got a list in front of him. Yeah, well, that's why. Yeah, um, you know, we we said we were going to be before we started recording this. We were like, "What the hell are we going to talk about this week?" Because <laughs> no, Raw was garbage, and there's not a lot of gaming news. We're like half an hour in, and we haven't even oh, wow. talked about wrestling yet. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, but that's good. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, so just the games. We haven't said Divas yet. Divas. <laughs> <laughs> so on slide the first for Xbox One. And I think uh, slide fifth for PS4. It's uh, Banner Saga 2, which I believe is free on Xbox One right now. It is. If you're a, if you're a uh, Xbox Live Gold subscriber. And if you're not, what are you doing? <laughs> yes, Why have these consoles without this stuff? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, if you like, like the first one, it's more of the same. Uh, looks really fun. I'll probably play it, give it a play sooner or later. Yeah, I won't. I, and I'm unsurprised. <laughs> it's uh, just not my sort of thing I'm sure it's no. great a lot of people like it it's just not my sort of it's not my jam yeah I understand that yeah it's, uh, after that we have uh, on July 12th uh, it's a game called 7th Dragon 3 Code VFD for the 3DS right uh, you'll get it as good as mine oh you don't know what that I, is I actually don't that sounds like a U game as well <laughs> it does doesn't it yeah, yeah. Um, it's like a, I think it's a JRPG or something oh, I didn't even say can't tell it takes place in Tokyo <laughs> so yeah probably um <laughs> Video games. After that, <laughs> on the same day, uh, July twelfth, we have Ghostbusters for PS4. PC. Oh, it looks awful! It's like the, the the launch trailer that I've seen for it looks so bad. Yeah, it doesn't look great. Obviously, this is um, to coincide with the new movie that's coming out. Mm-hmm. And we did talk. I think we when this was announced, I think we talked about it when on the podcast. We, it, it's probably about eight podcasts to go now. <laughs> probably, but um, it looks bad. It's nothing. It's uh, set after the events of the new film that's coming out. And it's not the same set of Ghostbusters, it's a different set of Ghostbusters. Yeah. Um, Weird. I, if it's good, which I don't expect it to be, I'll buy it when it's very cheap. <laughs> yes, maybe. Yeah. Um, Steve um, will be disappointed about this, friend of the show, Steve. Oh, yeah. Because he's, he's like, a big Ghostbusters mark. <laughs> and uh, he will hate that this game is going to suck. Yeah. And he also thinks the new film is going to suck too. Yeah, he probably will. It's a bad time to be a Ghostbusters fan. Yeah. Sorry, Steve. He's not allowed to uh, badmouth it or to get yelled at by feminists. <laughs> yeah, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's uh, from what I've seen from the internet anyway. If, you, if, if that was happened, you've, <laughs> you've you've abused it. You've abused Ghostbusters and women have just been shouting at you in the street. Uh, well, not me personally, but... Uh, ben! <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you even saying about Ghostbusters? <laughs> uh, dear. Um, <sighs> <laughs> that old, that other, the, um, the old Ghostbusters games was good. Yeah, the one on 360 and PSG, really good. Yeah. Uh, Why can't we have that back? You know, give us that instead of this new one. <laughs> yeah, that exactly. much just better. Give us that just, let, just give us back. I'm surprised they haven't. Yeah, I'm saying actually. Yeah. They might do with to coincide with the new film. They it might because it's Activision still, and they own. They've got. They, they made the old one. Yeah, yeah. They make all movie times. They do. Yes, yeah, true. It's yeah. Like every <laughs> movie time is exclusive to Activision. Yeah, uh, good. Give it to someone else. 
Uh, anyway, after that... Schindler's List the game? Yeah, we'll wait, that'll be all. Schindler's List. Okay. Also on the same day, um, July or whatever I said, 12th, um, it was a game for PC only called Negropolis. Correct. Uh, Who fucking plays on PC? Lots of people. People yell at you if you say that. Who cares? <laughs> right. I don't care about PC gaming. Do you care? Uh, I know you've got a gaming PC and a good one. Uh, well, I used really, to really Did you care about PC gaming? It, it's good when I bought it. Not so much now. Um, but uh, I was... I was I mean, uh, Finn, do you care about PC gaming? Not anymore. No. <laughs> I used to. Just buy a console. It's cheaper and it's easier. People are going to be so mad at you for saying that. I want to... <laughs> come at me, nerds. I don't care. <laughs> you PC dorks can come at me. Oh, God. I don't care. I'm going to take cover. <laughs> that's fine after that we have I'll take the shots <laughs> again on the same day we have a game called Song of the Deep um, PS4 Xbox One and PC oh is this the one made by Insomniac yeah it is yes yeah um, I mean I'm interested in this is it a digital download only I believe so yes okay um, oh oh yeah it's digital download for most people also coming to GameStop because I think it was published by GameStop yeah it was uh, yeah as a physical release but uh, we won't get that over here because we are not American Nope. Thank goodness. Um, so yeah, it's a GameStop uh, exclusive physical copy, but uh, yeah, I believe it's a digital download. Is it just PS4? Uh, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. So just PS4 and Xbox One then. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like an interesting Come little, me, bro. Uh, little game. It does look quite interesting, actually. Um, it's Insomniac, so you know yeah. I have expectations for it. Yeah, for sure. Um, again, on the same day, BG Day, uh, a game called Video Ball. Uh, I watched the uh, announcement trailer for it. It's hilarious. Um, really? Yeah, yeah, it's really funny. Uh, coming to PS4, PC, uh, Xbox One, also Linux and Macs. And Mac. So it's alright. Jesus. Yeah. Um, um, what's what is it? It's like a sort of like little football game, but with triangles and squares. It looks like that, basically. Oh shakes. right, okay. Oh, that yeah. was quite interesting. Yeah, it's just, just coming on PS4. Yeah, coming PS4. Right. Um, That's something that would be awesome on the Vita. Is it on the Vita? It's not actually, no. Jesus. But it would be. Um, I agree. But it looks really fun. Uh, it was cheap, I might give it a try. Okay. Maybe I'll play it, give a game, give a game, make a video of it or something. Yeah, sure. Um, but yeah, that's that for that. July 15th, we have Monster Hunter Generations for the 3DS. Uh, a lot of Monster, Monster, Hunter, Monster Hunter fans out there. Yeah, a uh, lot. I'm not one of them myself. I have played mm-hmm. it. Yeah, I tried um, to get into it, but... I yeah, I've tried. It's fine, I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure people absolutely, well, people do love it. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, I can never get into it. Um, but good that it's coming out. Yeah, sure. Um, July nineteenth, we have one I'm interested in. Into uh, she's quite what's wrong with me today? Interested. You, you in, are worse than me today. I am. I'm terrible. But it takes me ages to get the intro right usually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, You're just know. struggling with words and words life. in general. Yeah. <laughs> uh, July nineteenth, a game called I Am Setsuna, for PS4 and BC, uh, inspired by Chrono Trigger, uh, published by uh, Square Shop, Square Enix. Sorry. Uh, it's like a little JRPG. Squaresoft. Yeah, old, old took school. Us back in time. I know, yeah. But it's old school, look, old school looking there. JRPG. Looks very pretty. Very nice art, art style. Uh, definitely one I'll, I will be keeping my eye on. It has Finn Steel written all over it. Yeah, absolutely game. does, yes. I love the Final <laughs> Fantasy t shirt by the way today. Oh, thank you, yeah. <laughs> it's very cool. It's very cool. Got it from uh, some website. Some website. <laughs> some website. So that's www.somewebsite.com. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it was uh, T Fury actually. Yeah. Right. Yeah, well, they do good cool. t-shirts. They do, yeah. Really great. Uh, insert coin do uh, good, really good t-shirts. Too. They do, yeah. So I got my uh, Shenmue search from. Mm. Uh, but one more game for this month, July twenty sixth. Twenty sixth. It's a game I know God you. God Almighty! <laughs> it's a game I know you love. Uh, Fairy Fencer F Advent Dark Force or PS Four. I love that game, dude. I know. <laughs> I, I've been <I'm> so <laughs> excited for it. What is it? Um, it's a JRPG. Oh, right, right, okay. Of course, it is. Um, what the hell is this? JRPG month? <laughs> Seems like it. Um, but the only noticeable thing about it is the music was done by the Final Fantasy composer Nobu Uematsu, who I love very much. Um, You're all familiar with his work. I am. Well, I am. Anyone who's played Final Fantasy 1 through like 10. I played oh. 7. I love 7. Yeah, well, it's the same guy as 7. There you go. Okay. Um, and yeah, it's just basically a bland JRPG which, with good music. Of things. <laughs> Are you going to play it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Okay. I think it's a sequel, so I'll play the first one first. And... So there is literally nothing that I'm really that bothered about this month. Uh, no, no AAA games coming out this month. This is a magical uh, time for me, because I can just get through this backlog. Yeah, yeah, me too. I feel like give it a try. Get through some stuff. I'll check out I Am Tatuna on the 12th, whatever it was. Yeah. But other than that, yeah. That's been my for July. Right, fair enough. Yeah. 
Um, oh, it might be worth talking about um, No Man's Sky on the 1st of August. Um, right, yeah, because that's going to be out before our 1st August podcast, I assume. Yes. In fact, that could be the day that we even record our podcast. Could be. Um, Are you going to buy it? I'm, I'm going to hold off. For I'm still for unsure, to be honest. I'm going to wait for reviews because I'm yeah. certain in my... I've To be honest, I've got this into my own tiny little mind <laughs> that it's going to be six and sevens. You think so? Yep, I think it, the hype isn't going to be worth it because people don't. Mm. We still don't know what it is. It's, like a, it's <laughs> yeah. a planet exploration game. Yeah, it's um, some shit. It looks <laughs> wonderful, and the collector's edition is a, a a thing of beauty. Yeah, but the it just sounds rubbish. Yeah, it's I don't know. It's I like the aspect of it because like it's all within one world just thing. <laughs> it's all within one world. It's like everyone's connected technically online in one world, but the chance of actually finding someone's like. Minuscule, it's like more times than the lottery than actually finding someone out in the wild or something ridiculous somewhere. somewhere. Do you not think it could be quite a lonely, boring game? I think so. But I think the I think the main goal of it is to get to the center of the universe, and I think if like there's a community built around it, all trying to get find the center of the universe to find out what's actually there, it, that kind of compels me a little bit. That kind of, that sounds interesting, um, but I don't know if it'll be worth it. I don't know what the gameplay is actually going to be like, obviously because we haven't seen it yet. Um, but yeah, I'll be waiting for reviews. Uh, I think it'll get a little higher than six and seven. So I think it'll be like seven and eights, personally. Um, but yeah, I want to keep an eye on. Yeah, it's hard, hard to get excited for it because, as you said, we don't know any yeah. much about it. Um, and like The Last Guardian, I think it's going to be six and sevens. Ooh, don't give it The Last Guardian. No, I'm sorry. It's going to be a perfect game. I'm not sorry. Tens, tens everywhere. Universal. No. <laughs> um, okay. Let's... Um, well, we're going to talk about... Remasters this week. Yeah, um, okay. We can, we still can. Yeah, but we you know we're, like, we're half an hour in here. It's yeah. up to you. Yeah, we can. No, anyway. no, we've got time. Raw was awful this week. Of we're we're going to skim through the results um, yeah, after we've <laughs> after the topic of the show. It's better we're talking about. <laughs> it, it honestly, it really is, and it was the America Day edition of Raw, and it was god awful. America. Um, let's talk about um because uh, you know I've, I've started playing The Last of Us Remastered. Cool. And I realised sort of the game that I'm going to play after is actually God of War 3 Remastered. <laughs> yeah. So I want to talk about, and obviously we, we touched on the fact that Bioshock Remastered is um, coming out. Mm-hmm. What do you, what, what's, what's your opinion of all these, of, of the remasters that, you know, keep keep surfacing? And um, I think if a remaster is done well and like gen- uh, genuinely improves the game, like adds 60 frames a second, 1080p and all that, then I think it's worth you know, having. Um, but sometimes, a lot of the time, that isn't there. Uh, to give an example, the uh, Silent Hill 2 and 3 remastered but the Mike Konami, Konami, um, was shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. It looks worse than a PS2 game. Um, they, I think they, like, removed the fog, um, but didn't improve, like, the draw distance. <laughs> so it's just, stuff was just, like, popping up out of nowhere and buildings and enemies just, oh, it's dumb. Um, and yeah, I heard that they didn't have a full version of the game to work with. They had like a half-finished game. So they essentially finish the game again and then improve it. And yeah, it was weird. And Why like, bother? I know, it's a bit weird. People don't want a broken game. People no. want to play the game that they remember and love. Exactly. Just bring it to backwards compatibility. I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great. But uh, yeah, I think I think in general, remasters are a good thing. Because it gives it to like a new audience who might not have played the game before. And it's like an improved version of the game. If you like, if you like the original game, then... Gonna like the even better version. I agree. A lot of people disagree. People mm. want to see brand new IPs, brand new, um, you know, sequels to the games that they already love, yeah, and all this sort of stuff. But I think remasters are a, a good idea. Um, some of them are un- unnecessary. Yeah, for sure. Right. Uh, they, I mean, we'll talk about some of them in a minute. But like, there's people who are, um, you know, you know, just buying a PS4. Mm-hmm. Right, you know they've they've not had a console for ages, so that I mean, maybe they had a three hundred and sixty, but now have made the leap to PS four. Yeah, so they missed out on PS three games. Yeah, yeah, so they wouldn't yeah. have played uh, Uncharted one, two, and three. Yeah, they wouldn't have played The Last of Us. They wouldn't have played God of War. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, these games are still new to those people. Definitely, yeah. And they get to play them with enhanced graphics and stuff like that. Mm. Uh, maybe even enhanced gameplay in some instances. Sure. So I think it's a really good idea, and people do moan about them. But when I see a remaster um, announced, I'm like, right, fine. Yeah, it's not like mm-hmm. the original company that made this game are wasting their time recreating it. No, they're no. outsourced. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like I think people see it as, yeah, as you said, it's like 
they're, they're working on this remaster and then they're not working on the next game and series or the next or the new IP or whatever. Yeah, that it's is like, not the case. It's not true, no. It's like a side project. They give it to someone else to sort out yeah. while they work on the next big thing. Yeah, like they outsource it to a, a like a games company who, you know, maybe smaller and, you know, so they get paid to do the remaster and then it gives more money for their own future projects. Yeah, exactly. So, um, like, Blue Point Studios, I think, were the team responsible for the Uncharted remasters. Yeah, that's not ring about. I think... I think it's something like Squirrel Games are, are responsible for the upcoming Bioshock collection. Right, okay. So 2K aren't, you know, spending hours and hours working on these three old games. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, if I need to look at that Bioshock, who's doing it, because I can't remember <laughs> fully. You've got actually a computer, I'll let you do it. Yeah. I'll but it's not, it's not like these companies are wasting their time doing it. Well, it's not wasting their time anyway, but they're not spending their time that they could be using on either a sequel or a new IP or whatever um, they outsource these projects to other companies exactly so yeah I think it's a great idea so for the people moaning if you don't want to play these games they're not they're not forcing you to buy them no exactly you don't have to buy them just, just, just ignore it it's not <laughs> like right, um, guys the Bioshock collection is coming out but um, just so you know it's mandatory to buy it and if you don't we're going to block all access <laughs> Uh, on your PS4, so you can't do anything. You can't even yeah. put a disc in. <laughs> We're going to glue the disc sh- thing shut yeah, so that you can't use it. It's like people who go on YouTube and like, oh, this video series sucks. What are you doing? What are you making this for? And it's like, if you don't like it, don't bloody click on the video. What yeah. are you doing? It's the same with anything. If you don't <laughs> exactly. want to do it, don't, don't. if you don't want it, don't buy it. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah, so I mean, there are some unnecessary ones. People that Stuff that people don't ask for. I mean, stuff like Uncharted, The Last of Us, God of War, fine. They are AAA titles that fully deserve um, to be played. Stuff that comes out sort of late in a generation, like Beyond Two Souls. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not everybody would have played that. Yeah. So, you know, fine. Bring it out. It's a budget title. Fine. Yeah, why not? Stuff like... Um, you know, I had it in my head just a second ago. Prototype. Oh, yeah. Prototype 1 and 2, which was terrible. Yeah, Got a two remaster. Was right. Two was alright. No. One's better. One is one's really good. I don't think two is very good though. Yeah, I've landed it. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What two? Yeah, I think it was like a free PlayStation Plus game or something. You're more man than me. Oh, was <laughs> it on? Was it free? I think so. Right. So you wouldn't have paid money for it, would you? Probably not. No. And you wouldn't pay money for a remaster either, would you? No, I wouldn't. No. So stuff like that. It's like why? Why is that there? Who has asked for this? Yeah. And it's been, I think it's been a budget title ever since it was released, re-released. Yeah. Um. Also, games that. I like. I think there's like a. Oh, I can't remember what it was now. Some some series of games that were on the PS3, um, they got released on PS4. It's like an HD collection. It's like they're already in HD. PS3 is HD. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> that's, that's another thing that's baffling to me. HD collection. What do you yeah. think a HDMI cable does? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't know. Just call it like improved edition or something. Sonic know. the Hedgehog Scart Scart collection. <laughs> Scart cable collection. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Come on. <laughs> It's not a HD, it's just... Re- that's why they should just be called remasters. Yeah, I agree. What do you think the best remasters are? Um, hmm, good question. Um, let's let's stick with the current generation. What do you think the best remasters are of the current generation that we've got? Hmm, good question. I don't know if I've played that many of this generation. Um, Last of Us I've played is pretty good. I haven't played it personally, but I played the PS3 version. Um, but I heard they improved a lot with uh, The Last of Us. Yeah, I'm playing um, it at the minute, it's outstanding. Excellent. Um, well, Dark Souls 2, um, uh, Call of the First Sin, is like a remaster of Dark Souls 2. Uh, mm-hmm. Apparently they changed a lot of that. And like basically like a new, like a remixed version of the game, which is pretty cool. Uh, not just the same game again. They well, no, they, around. they changed um, where the, the enemies were. Yeah, exactly. So Except people just that, couldn't cool. go plowing through it knowing where they were. Yeah. They've changed sort of the enemy spawns and all that sort of stuff. So It's yeah, stuff like that. It's when they actually change something and make yeah. it, improve it. Um, um, I, think, I think The Last of Us is probably the best. Yeah, sure. Um, Halo collection was oh, yeah. excellent also. Excellent, yeah, yeah. That's four games um, one, why not? Yeah, I mean, that's a, you know, that's a bargain as well. Yeah, you can yeah. get for like, you can get that so cheap now. Yeah, I think I'll put it pretty cheap. That's way. four Expo. full excellent games. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, Halo 2 was completely redone on the yeah. ground up. Ground up. Yeah, so well worth when, it. When effort is put in, a remaster is so worth it. Absolutely. Oh, finally found out, found out who was making the budget collection. Took all that time. Uh, but you're right, it's Blind Squirrel Games. Ah, Blind Squirrel Games. Yes. Yeah, see, they're responsible for it. Not 2K are obviously publishing it. 
Blind Squirrel are doing the uh, the groundwork. Absolutely. So, Obviously. yeah, remasters are a good thing. Absolutely, I agree. Can you oversaturate it with crap games? Yes. One hundred percent. Yes, you can. Definitely. Prototype. I am looking at you. Uh, yeah, we need we need this. Yeah, I mean, there's got to be others that are pointless as well. Oh yeah, I thought there's one I looked at the other day. I was like, why? I can't think of it right now. Yeah. But yeah, more good stuff. Less, less, less crap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. If people want it, right, and there's enough demand for it, then fine. Yeah. Then sure. there's like the Batman Arkham collection that I don't think we're ever going to get now. <laughs> yeah, people would have bought that. People wanted it, and people would have. It would have sold a lot of copies. Oh yeah. Um, it probably would have sold more in its first day than Prototype is going to do in its entire lifespan. <laughs> probably, yeah. But yeah, I think I think remasters are a very good thing. Definitely. Because it gives you the opportunity to play things you wouldn't have played before. Yeah, exactly. Well, on whether you either had, I don't know, so whether if you're a PS3 player going to Xbox One, I don't know why you that would happen, mm-hmm. but I'm sure there is people. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, or if you're an Xbox 360 player going to a PS4, which of course is the more likely, then uh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's why I think there's more remasters on PS4 than there is on Xbox One. Yeah, you probably right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's that good, good. We settled that debate pretty quick. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Remasters are a good thing. Yes, I agree. Sending a fin, seal of approval. Yep. Thunk. Thump. <laughs> okay, we we have to because we're a wrestling and video game podcast. <laughs> yeah. Time to speak about America Raw. Let's War America. talk about America Raw, which um, is as bad as the brand new Independence Day movie. Oh, is it bad? Which sucks. No. <laughs> Worse <laughs> than... Honestly, it's one of the worst ones I've ever seen in my life. Oh, right. That bad. Don't watch it. Totally. But the problem is they're making a third one. Are they? And now I'm going to have to watch it because I've seen the second one. Yeah. I'm like, well, now I need to see how the story finishes. <laughs> God, oh, God damn Hollywood. <laughs> right. I'm going to everything. I'm going to quickly skim through the raw results here. I'm going to literally say the results. Okay. And then we'll talk about how bad it was. Got you. Right. The raw quick results. The United States heavyweight champion Rusev mm-hmm. beat Uncle Sam. A.K.A. Titus O'Neil yep. via submission to retain the United States Championship. Big shock. I mean, I said Titus might win. No, yeah, he did. Yeah. To be Big honest, fair. I nearly turned Raw off when I saw Titus O'Neil come down uh, as Uncle Sam. <laughs> yeah. But just like that, there's no way he's going to win. No. Not a chance. Plus, he had them stupid Uncle Sam shorts on while he was wrestling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, come down yeah. in that if you really have to. If you really have to make a show of yourself, right, then fine, do that. Americans love it. They lap all that crap up. Oh, yeah. But at least take most of the costume off. Yeah. Come on. Wear your pants to wrestle in. <laughs> so Uncle Sam shorts are not appropriate wrestling attire. Not really, no. Nope. Before Raw started, actually, um, they had they showed the the standard um, Independence Day or no. Thanksgiving or <laughs> Christmas or any other occasion where food is involved. Oh, food WWE fight, yeah. food fight. Yeah, of course. Something which like they called the biggest food fight in history. Yeah, yeah. Please do one. It was, it was kind of amusing, I guess, but we didn't need it. I fast forwarded it. I saw yeah. <laughs> as soon as I saw R Truth and Gold just singing, I was oh, like, God, "Nope, yeah. Yeah. not for me." Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> then it, it, then I knew it. It just descended into a food fight. It always does. Kevin Owens hit hit under the table. I thought it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, Enzo and Big Cass be the social outcasts who were also dressed up. Yes. What so were they dressed as? Um, just like I don't even know. Were they like ex presidents or something? Possibly. Enzo Amore reeled off the uh, the list of United States presidents yep. in uh, in his opening spiel. Yep, impressive. It was, it was very <laughs> impressive. <laughs> yeah. um, who cares? I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that with English prime ministers. I so. know. <laughs> no. No, exactly. <laughs> 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 uh, so that's fairly impressive. But America, they so they love all that sort of stuff. They do. Yeah. Americans are just like, oh my god, this is so nice. patriotic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they are, they, yeah, they are so patriotic. Way more than us. We yeah, suck definitely. At it. Yeah. The closest we, we get is like having Bulldogs tattooed on our arms. <laughs> God, yeah. yeah. We are English and proud. Yeah. England, we're going to go beat up people in the, in the pub who disagree with our football opinions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Etc. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, so. Um, so, yeah, Enzo and Cass beat the social outcast dressed up as something American. Yes. The third match on the card. Was the WWE champion Dean Ambrose beating mm-hmm. The Miz in a champion versus championship match? Oh, yeah. It's a decent match, actually. Uh, I thought the SmackDown last week was better, I thought, but uh, it was okay. 
Yeah, I mean, it was a fine match. Yeah. Um, Dean won with the Dirty Deeds. It was yep. an okay match. Um, the, yeah, that, that is it. It was a fine match. It was, yeah. a, it was a nothing match, really. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm I'm going to ask you a question, actually. Okay. Uh, I've been thinking about it uh, myself. Um, do you think Dean Ambrose has longevity in him as the WWE champion? And do you think he can... He, is the kind of champion that can carry the brand WWE forward. Um, I think he can be. I think he's definitely got the talent and the you know the skill to do so. I think he just needs a good like story or good like character building story arc to like push him forward a bit. I think. Yes. Right now he's just like the lunatic Michael. He's a lunatic. He's like the crazy racky guy who like does crazy racky things. And he doesn't really have much else going for him right now. Yeah. I mean, I think but, WWE are trying to make him like a, a Stone Cold Steve Austin type champion mm. in a PG era. Yeah. And I'm not sure because the humour that they can use isn't like adult humour. It's oh, yeah. childish, um, you know, fun poking. He's out there, yeah. You know? He's like, going to open my money bank briefcase and get slime thrown at me kind of thing. Yeah, it <laughs> is like fart jokes and that sort of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, obviously, that hasn't happened, but it's that kind of exactly, Vince yeah. McMahon toilet humour type thing that they would you know because it can't be that edgy in this day and age no yeah uh, I'm not sure at the minute um, I was so excited when he won the championship mm. but I don't know uh, you know this is being the, the title scene at the minute is sort of like a, a mid card thing this is Roman Reigns' fault without question <laughs> because yeah. this is the main thing on the show I think if Roman was still around because um you know, obviously what's happened has happened and they're trying to, you know, sweep it under the carpet a little bit. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know if, you know, Dean Ambrose is not John Cena. No, not quite. He's not Triple H. He's no. not The Rock. You know, he's not... I know we should be past that now because of the kind of superstars that we have. Mm. You know, we love all the indie guys and all that sort of stuff. But when you look at the big stage... Yeah. I think is it enough? Yeah, I think it can be built to like that kind of level, but feeling like having the match with the Miz like in the mid mid card isn't helping. If that was like the main event, then sure, that'd be, that'd be cool. Yeah, but instead, then the main event is some bloody tag team match. What's we'll, we'll get to? In the minute. Yeah, so it's it's an interesting one um, because you know, I mean, the brand split might help. Hmm. I think the brand split oh, might, yeah. might help cool. a lot of things. For sure, um, it needs to because at the minute it's fairly drab. Yeah, I mean, I think. This week can maybe be excused as a, a, a throwaway holiday episode of Raw. Yeah, sure. Because there's still a couple of weeks until Battleground. So that's still two episodes of Raw of build-up. Yep, yep. It can get better. <laughs> Let's hope so. Seth Rollins, straight after the Dean Ambrose match, beat Dolph Ziggler in another good match. Yeah, that was a good match, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, props to Dolph. He's still got good matches, as it turns out. Doesn't uh, win. Doesn't win, never wins anything, but no. it's uh, can wrestle, just about. And uh, yeah, it's good. It's fine. It was a good match. Um, again, it was a nothing match. You obviously build as, because the draft is coming up, they're obviously promoting oh, yes. that to the hilt and they're like, well, these kind of matches might never happen again mm-hmm. so Dolph Ziggler's requested this match. Yeah. Fine. Right. Fair enough. But it's a fine match. Um, what I enjoyed was the interaction between um, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins afterwards. Yep. Seth Rollins ran Roman Reigns into the ground again. <laughs> yeah. Good. Very good. Saying he doesn't deserve to be in the match. I'm sure he's been told to do this by right. the higher ups. Like, go out there and make Roman Reigns look stupid. <laughs> yeah. Don't make uh, him look strong. Make him look stupid. Yeah. Be the voice of the internet. Yeah. Run him <laughs> down. Say what everybody's thinking because he has embarrassed the company. Yeah, he has. Um, so go out there, run him down. Yeah. And uh, yeah, after that, they always had that like, little competition. Uh, Dean Ambrose DDT on, on the table, which uh, didn't break because <laughs> apparently it's. Uh, the next wrong table this week or something I don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah the Spanish announced table was supposed to be like the weakest table in the world but <laughs> yeah. recently you just like I almost feel when moves are going to happen you think that's not going to happen it's not going to go through <laughs> yeah. then when they just bounce off you're like oh, oh. <laughs> come on ah yeah I'm third table yeah <laughs> bottom any reference same, same. <laughs> <laughs> what bottom any reference right fair enough <laughs> so yeah um, then the golden truth beat the Vaud villains yeah. oh, with... they, they can destroy them as well what the hell was that um, I oh, know. And Bruce so Angle sat at ringside. Yeah. I like the Vaudevillains. Why don't them get squashed by bloody Golden Truth, of all people? 
I know. I I feel bad for the board villains. Mm, They've come up. Vince maybe doesn't like them. Yeah. So now they they had a little run in the tag team title picture and they didn't win the tag team titles like they should have. Yeah. And now Now they're they're losing to the likes of Golden Truth just to (laughs) push a feud along that shouldn't even be happening in the first place. Nobody cares about. Yeah. I think they're the next Ascension. I hope they're not because they deserve better but Oh, speaking of the Ascension, I don't know if you, it's obviously one of whichever one was suspended. Was it Connor? I think so. He was suspended. Yeah. And obviously he's back now. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. WWE posted on Facebook um, something about the wasteland the other day, oh. and a picture of the two of them. Like, um, oh, just so you know, they are they are still a thing and they are back. <laughs> okay. So I I hope the Ascension come back strong. Me too. I like the Ascension. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they've been on Superstars or main whatever the hell it's called main event. Could be. But it'd be cool if they came back and made a real. A real go at it this time. Yeah. Again, Give them a chance. Draw, yeah. I think the draft will help with that as well. We'll get these lesser known teams to come back, I think. I hope so. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, Becky Lynch beats Summer Rae versus via submission. Uh, yeah. It was yeah, it's a pretty interesting match. Um, I like Becky. Summer Rae's got a lot of TV time recently. She is, yeah. I mean, she's all right. And this match wasn't the best showcase of her skills. Nope. <laughs> but, uh, or Becky. Or Becky, really, yes. But individually, they're both okay, I think. Be- Becky Lynch I like a lot. Uh, Summer Rae yeah. is fine as she is but because I know it's been announced for Battleground that Becky's going to take on Natalia oh yeah um, in a singles match I think is that, am I making that up that's right know. isn't it I think so yeah sounds right yeah if it's not been announced it will be before Battleground <laughs> I think it has been announced it has okay yeah cool uh, because it was Natalia turned on Becky at the last pay-per-view yeah it was yeah, yeah okay and then to close out the show we had Team USA which consisted of Bubba Ray and Devon mm-hmm uh, Big Show, Kane, Zack Ryder, and Apollo Crews. Oh, and all oh, right, Jack Swagger and Mark Henry as well. So oh, yeah. it was eight. It was a sixteen-man elimination tag team match. Right. Yeah. And they were taking on uh, Team Multinational Alliance. <laughs> Not Americans. So basically, it was the USA versus the world. <laughs> yeah. Jericho and Kevin Owens, Cesaro, Sami Zayn, Del Rio, Kalisto, Sin Cara, and Sheamus. Okay. Yep. So everybody on the card not from America. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, there was a very cringeworthy. Um, sort of rousing speech from Big Show backstage to yeah. Team Team USA, uh, and they're all stood there looking very serious. <laughs> and I was like, that sums this entire episode of Raw up, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, so yeah, I mean, Big Show and Zack Ryder were the sole survivors. Uh, Shock yeah. horror, Team USA won. Yeah, who'd have thunk? Yeah, who'd have thunk? Um, also, Kevin Owens got um DQ'd for attacking his own teammate with a chair, which made no sense. Did he attack? Was it Sami Zayn that he attacked? Yeah. Yeah, well, that feud's carrying on, isn't it? So, oh, gosh, I mean, yeah. But he, why did he get disqualified? It's his own teammate. He attacked. He's like he hit someone else. And then Kane got got uh, disqualified by hitting Kevin Owens with the chair, who had just been disqualified, who wasn't in the match anymore. They so. need a way to eliminate <laughs> eight people from a match. I know, yeah. But it's like, that's the rules. I know. <laughs> I don't know. This was a very poor episode of Raw. Yeah. Um. So what we can take away from Raw is a couple of the cool bits that happened in between the matches. Um, so the Wyatt family, um, a cool little vignette, hot, uh, aired, inviting the New Day to their um, sort of where they live. Yeah, the little compound. Yeah, and it, it. which was a very cool um, little segment, I thought. Yeah, yeah. And Xavier Woods, um, basically, uh, Biggie and Kofi accepted the challenge. And Xavier was like, what are you doing? You're just accepting them out of nowhere. And he, uh, Xavier was kind of walked off and, took, and said, like, this could be the end of the New Day. Uh, it won't be, of course. No, of course it won't be. Sort of <laughs> playing uh, up to sort of him being scared of the Wyatt family the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, but, uh, apparently that's going to happen later this week, so I'm not sure if that will happen on SmackDown or that'll be like a little event on the network or something, I don't know. Well, are they, are they actually going to go to where they live? Apparently so. That's right. what I heard. That's, uh, okay. Uh, the Wyatts need to come out of this feud winning. Uh, yes, I agree. They um, need it's to... not going to be for the Tag Team Championship, but I'm almost certain of it. Mm, I don't know. Could, could go either way, I think. But... Uh, the Wyatt's definitely need a win, for sure. Because all they've done in recent memory is just go up against teams and lose. Bray needs to score the winning pinfall as well. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because Bray's obviously the talent in the team. Although yeah. I thought everybody uh, individually were, was good in the in the in the video. Yeah, yeah. Um, like Strowman and Rowan did their played their part. Yeah. It's disappointing that Harper's not around. Yeah. Because he's obviously the second best in the White family. Yeah, definitely. Um, but um, I like this feud. I do like it. Yeah, I like it. I just like, um, like two opposites coming together. It's good. Yeah. Um, 
you, a, a prediction that you made came true. Oh, yeah. And Vicky Guerrero uh, did indeed yeah. appear on Raw. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> in fine form. I actually yeah. smiled when she came out. Yeah, I did and too. I think a lot of people were sort of happy to see her. Yeah. She's annoying as hell when she's actually on TV full time. <laughs> yeah. But when she really isn't there, <laughs> when she isn't there, you sort of appreciate how good she is. Yeah, she's the best of you. And uh, she came out and she was she did an excellent job, probably the best out of all of the people who have sort of a, applied for the SmackDown GM job. Or, yeah. Or COO, as they seem to be calling it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that. Um, th- th- that's changed recently because they've gone from general manager to COOs. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Vicky came back and it was great and I smiled when she came out. It was good to see her. Yeah, yeah. I don't, she, I, we're not going to see her again for a while. She's yeah, doing other not. stuff and that's fine. Yeah. Um. AJ Styles and uh, the club mm-hmm. uh, had a very cool interaction with John Cena. Yep. It was a I very was. nice back and forth, which, of course, has since created the hashtag Beat Up John Cena. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Um, so that was a really amusing uh, segment. Yeah. Um, the club did go to the ring to uh, beat up John Cena. Mm-hmm. Hashtag Beat Up John Cena. <laughs> and uh, Enzo Amore and Big Cass came out for the save. Yeah. Hmm. Lots, mm. How do you feel about it? <laughs> um, it's fine, I guess. I guess they needed they needed someone, and it makes sense. They're like the second biggest, uh, second most popular tag team around at the minute, so I guess it makes sense. Um, I just don't want them to get like, dragged into this whole scene thing and then like buried and forgotten. But I think they will do though. Cause... I don't think they'll get buried and forgotten. I think they're way too popular for that. Yeah, I think that. Makes sense. Um, but this is interesting because when we on episode seventeen when we were talking about John Cena and how. If he was ever going to turn heel, how would he do it? And I obviously suggested that he could find two friends. Oh, yeah. And we've still got a good couple of weeks build up here. Yeah, yeah. And he could then turn on... Because they are super over. Yeah, yeah. So over. Super popular. What better way to get your ass booed out of the building than to turn on those two? Yeah. So a battleground it is going to be uh, the club, AJ Styles, uh, Gallows and Anderson, mm-hmm. against John Cena and Enzo and Cass. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> could we happen. finally see the turn of John Cena I said it had happened at SummerSlam it could happen at Battleground yeah do I think it will no uh, <laughs> I'm unsure uh, but this would be the perfect time to do it yeah I agree um, so if you are going to do it WWE now is your time yeah I'd love to see that uh, I still don't think they will I think they're still thinking too afraid to pull the trigger on that but uh, it would be it would be pretty amazing if this happened I don't know anymore. Yeah, it's hard to, hard to know anymore. But anymore. you see, the thing is, that's that these things like like the Cena thing and the AJ Styles, they you know that's the highlight of the show for me now. That's that's the main feed. That's the main yeah, thing yeah. that I care about. Same here. But you sh- it shouldn't be like that. You should care about the heavyweight championship. Yeah, that's true. which they've sneakily changed to the WWE title. That's true. Just yeah. called that now. Good. Well, which says to me there's going to be a World Heavyweight Championship on SmackDown. Yeah, I'm glad that changed it because WWE World Heavyweight Championship was like a mouthful. But it is the World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, I guess. And I, I like that. I, I like that it's the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, that's, yeah, I guess so. It's fine. Or at least the World Championship. Because, I mean, you know, bloody hell, Rey Mysterio won the WWE yeah, Championship yeah. and he's not a heavyweight. So anybody sure. can win it. Okay, maybe not heavyweight, but at WWE least WWE World, World Champion. Yeah, that makes sense. But if they're going to have one on SmackDown, call that the World Heavyweight Championship, just for me. Yeah, yeah okay, why not? Um, that was pretty much it I mean it was a very poor episode of Raw uh, very Independence Day centred uh, yeah. I saw that thing you retweeted uh, <laughs> where it's make Raw great again it was a load of America stuff yeah make Raw 25 seconds and just like America fuck yeah that's all you know yeah over like uh, <laughs> there was a there was a make Darren Young great again segment but it was the worst one. Oh yeah uh, give, give Darren Young the cross face chicken wing finisher yeah so great yay fine <laughs> Devastating when Bob Ackland did it. Yeah, yeah. No one will care when Darren Young does it. Nope. And I am 100% certain that this gimmick is going to flop. Yep. And we won't see it uh, towards the end of the year. Yeah, I agree. I'd... This will fade away before Christmas. Yeah. And get less TV time than the Shining Stars will. <laughs> oh, there's a Shining Stars vignette as well, but that's yeah. that has sailed already. Yeah. But they're at, they're at the food fight, but that was the only TV appearance I saw yeah. <laughs> recently um, of those guys so yeah weird so a rubbish episode of Raw there's still a good couple of weeks left until Battleground mm-hmm. so it can only get better we've got this week uh, coming yep. so next Monday and then the Monday after 
will be the final Raw before the draft. Yes. And then we've got the draft. So um, another interesting piece of news that they uh, advertised on Raw was the announcement of Brock Lesnar's opponent oh, yeah. for this week's SmackDown. I'll be on SmackDown. They didn't do it at the SmackDown TV tapings. Oh, okay. So they're saving it for the broadcast. Okay. I don't really understand why this is even happening. I don't understand why they are announcing it on SmackDown. I don't get it. I guess it is more people to watch. What change? <laughs> Please watch SmackDown. Brock Lesnar might be there. Who do you think it's going to be? Um, well, who's left? Who's not in the match already? Wait, was it Samus Slam or Battleground? Slam. Battleground. Slam. Slam. Did I, okay. What did I say? Did I say Battleground? I think he, I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, okay. I don't know. Either way. <laughs> One second. Um, but yeah, who, who could it be? Who he hasn't faced before? Who he's not already going to be in a feud? Hmm. So this is post draft. Yeah, yeah. So who could it be? Roman Reigns again, maybe. Yeah. Could be Reigns. The the betting odds um, have Kevin Owens as the favourite. Oh, isn't it? interesting. That could be a really good match, actually. Don't announce it. Let the feud build itself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Brock Lesnar's going to be on the draft episode of SmackDown. Yeah. Let's have that. Having the tag, so, have Kevin Owens tag, I think. Have something, you know, have the feud build then. Don't tell us what it's going to be. Yeah. Because then we don't care. Yeah, you're right. That is dumb. I hadn't even thought about that, but you're right. Yeah. If they had, like, Kevin Owens, a sack, Brock Lesnar out of nowhere during the draft, I think that would be awesome. Yeah, like, Brock Lesnar's <laughs> there in the ring, and, you know, he's being Brock Lesnar and hard and all that sort of stuff, which could be interesting if he loses at UFC 200 <laughs> this weekend. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, are you going to watch that match? I will watch the match, yeah. yeah I'm, I'll watch it, I'll, I'll watch it with Chris Brock, and um, you know it has a it has our interest. Yeah, I think so. Um, so I'll watch the match. I don't care for the rest of it. No, I don't care. I'll just watch that match on YouTube the day after. Yeah, same. All the highlights on BT Sport, whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, if he, I'm interested to see how WWE book Brock Lesnar should he lose. <laughs> yeah. But maybe this is why they are preparing a match, just in case he loses. Yeah. Maybe we'll just won't mention it. But no, they'll, they'll have to. <laughs> yeah, it's like, this never happened. Shut up. But it goes back to that thing where fans aren't stupid now. Yeah. You know, they sure. may they may have to book this a match first to... I don't know. I know what I'm trying to say. Hmm, I think I know what you mean. They don't want to, don't want to have a match ready to go. So, like, if he loses, it won't be like, uh, well, he's got a match, but you won't care because he's fully lost the match. Yeah, it's just that the crap kicked out of him in real life. <laughs> yeah. So, is he really legit tough? Yeah. Well, he is, obviously, but oh, yeah. you, you know what I mean? It's like... He would destroy either of us, or both of us at the same time. With yeah, thing. definitely. <laughs> definitely that, yeah. Yeah. But it's, you know, maybe so maybe book a match so that they've got something to fall back on. Yeah, yeah. Should Brock Lesnar lose. They've got something to focus on already. Yeah. It gives something uh, for people to look forward to. So instead of sort of Brock coming down on that episode of SmackDown, if he's lost and go, oh, yeah. Brock Lesnar lost, what's next mm-hmm. for Brock Lesnar? Instead, they've already got right. Here's Brock Lesnar. He's fighting so and so at SummerSlam. Yeah, that's true. I still think it sucks that it's going to happen. They're, they're going to do it that way. Yeah, it's weird, but we'll see. Um, there's a lot of rumors that it was going to be Randy Orton. Uh, Dave yeah. Meltzer sort of said that he had it on good authority that it was going to be Randy Orton. Mm. Doesn't make sense for Randy Orton to come back and lose because he will. Yep, that's true. Um, yeah, that could be a good match, but yeah, you're right. It won't make I, 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 to be honest, I have no interest in that. No, <laughs> I like Randy Orton and I like Brock Lesnar, but I have no interest in that match. Yeah, there's, well, again, there's no feud there, is there? So it's like, what would be the point? Yeah. yeah. Why announce it out of nowhere? <laughs> yeah, it's true. No pun intended. There was a pun intended, uh, I meant it. <laughs> um, uh, out of nowhere. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know. Uh, the draft is going to make things interesting. I'm Definitely. interested. We'll, I mean, we'll know who Brock Lesnar's opponent's going to be after this Thursday. It's true. I'm going to smack down airs. Um, the Cruiserweight Classic starts next week. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Excited? Yeah, definitely. Uh, lots, of, lots of good names in there. Very. There's a, 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 a Cruiserweight Classic special on After NXT tonight. Cool. Uh, called Bracketology, which nice. is going to introduce the people who are in it. Cool. So I think that's going to be quite a good watch. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Awesome. Um, so much wrestling to watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, a WCPW uh, had their first two shows put on YouTube, and uh, they're pretty good. I watched them both. They're, yeah, good. good it's the... Um... It's Rock Culture Pro Wrestling. Yes. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's worth watching. If you're, It's free on YouTube, so why the hell not? You watched it? Yeah, yeah. And how was it? Yeah, good. Good, good matches. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very indie, but yeah, good. That's good. Yeah, very good. Fair enough. Joe um, Hendry's entrance was awesome. Who? <laughs> Joe Hendry uh, entrance. He just sings like his own entrance music. Oh, and, uh, right, okay. So that covers a lot of people's songs. It's really funny. All oh, right, fair uh, enough. Yeah. So that's free on YouTube. Go watch that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I mean, I think that's pretty much it. Have you got anything else you wanted to uh, talk about? 
Uh, I don't think so. Oh, TNA, uh, like, I think it's like the next event thing called Final Deletion. Oh, yeah, apparently what? it's been on. I wanted oh, to, it has, been on. you know, apparently it was on last night. Oh, right. It in America last night. Um, it'll be on Challenge oh, yeah. uh, this weekend over here. Oh, that's it's Matt Hardy versus Jeff Hardy. In the, it's like called the Final Deletion match. <laughs> yeah. Or no something sense. like that. What does that even mean? <laughs> um, I'm going to watch it out of curiosity. Yeah, well. Just yeah. that match. I don't care about anything else. Um, but TNA have, you know, the, the reason this is so big, the reason this Matt and Jeff Hardy thing is getting so much coverage is because of that god-awful promo. <laughs> yeah, that's The true. Brother Nero thing. Yeah. Brother Nero! Uh, it's because of that. That's why this feud is so popular now. It's like internet famous because of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, I mean, people will just want to see... They're going to tune in to see how ridiculous it is. And apparently it was. Right. Okay. Apparently it was crazy. Apparently it was just <laughs> 10 minutes of stupidity. Right, I'll track it down and give it a uh, And I'm going to watch it, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll talk about it next week as well yeah uh, next week we'll talk about um, we'll talk about the draft because it's going to be our last podcast before the draft oh yeah okay so we'll give our uh, we'll do sort of like draft predictions next week yeah sure like the way fantasy drafts yeah we'll do like a fantasy draft yeah whether it's be war whether it's be smackdown yeah well uh, we'll do like 10 superstars each yeah sure that sounds good yeah that sounds like a lot of fun cool Okay, so that's episode 20 of the Sunny and Finn Show. Yep, yep. Uh, go subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. You can follow us on SoundCloud. Yep. And you can find us on any other podcast application you may use. Yep. Pretty across much. all devices. Um, the podcast is going live on YouTube. Yep. Um, the same day that it goes live everywhere else. Yep, pretty much. Okay. Um, so you can subscribe to our YouTube channel as well, mm-hmm. where there's going to be Let's Plays, uh, the podcast itself, and other fun stuff. Yep, live streams, all that good stuff. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot more content coming up. Um, there's lots of content coming, I promise. Yeah. Okay. From both of us, together and separately. Absolutely. So, yeah. Um, look out for what happened in NXT. That goes live every single Friday. And that is our weekly NXT recap podcast hosted by myself. Yep. Yeah. And hopefully we're going to do something uh, around the Cruiserweight Classic as well, just while that's going on. Yep, yeah, that'd be cool. So lots of stuff coming. We say it all the time, but we do try and deliver the best we can. Absolutely. As two working adult human beings. Yeah, we do as much as we can. We do as much as we can. Because you love it. It's fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Yep. Quick question before we go. Okay. Um, are you Have you voted for the uh, FIFA 17 cover star? You know what? I haven't. You haven't? Yeah, shocking, I know. Are you going to vote? No. <laughs> I don't know who any of these people are. What would I vote? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Go vote for the Manchester United player. Right. Which one are they? Are they the people? Yes. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> there's always like the two different Manchester ones, aren't they? It's like red, there's red and blue. Yes, there is. Yeah. Why, why, why do they have two? <laughs> well, one's Manchester United, uh-huh. which is the good one. Right. One's Manchester City. Uh-huh. Uh, they're the crap one. Right. They're not crap, but... <laughs> Uh, the one that I don't support, so... Uh, okay, yeah. but do, 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 do like, the places have two teams? Yes, yeah, so, well, London has many teams. Oh, neat. <laughs> right, okay. End of podcast. Bye! Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a FIFA 17 video of Finn getting his ass <laughs> absolutely handed to him by myself. I'd be down for that, sure. Yeah, because of <laughs> he put me through um, some Mario Maker embarrassment that none of you have ever got to see because Finn fucked the footage up. Damn, I didn't mess it up with bloody... But to make him pay for that, uh, I've swore to him that I'm gonna destroy him on FIFA. <laughs> well, you can you can try. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna train on FIFA 94 and Mega Drive. Must be for years. You're gonna, you're gonna be there on Dino Dini's uh, <laughs> revival on PS4. It, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a football game. It's just cool. Cool. All right, we're ranting it. anyway. <laughs> this is uh, that's this has been episode twenty of the Sunny and Finn show, and uh, once again, it's descended into absolute nonsense. <laughs> As always. Thank you very much for listening, and we will speak to you next time. Yes, Goodbye. Goodbye.